Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. It has been rainy and cold here all day. Like, I am freezing. <laughs> so, I'm wishing for a little bit more warm weather to come back. Hello, Connie. You're the first one in tonight. Sue follows you closely and Lisa. Welcome, you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had a really good weekend. Um, had a house full, which is kind of normal, right? <laughs> you guys are always hearing that from me. There's always people here. We had a house full yesterday, which was really nice because our weather here in Menasha, Wisconsin was beautiful yesterday. It was sunny and gorgeous and nice and warm and Anna and her friend Sarah came over and Anna's husband Scott and my mom was here all weekend. So she was here from Friday night and she just left a little while ago. So that was kind of nice. And um, we all sat out by the pool and just really enjoyed ourselves. The kids swam and uh, we had just a really nice day. So that was fun. And I, oh, and then when everybody went home and my mom went to bed, then I made cupcakes and brownies and Rice Krispie bars. Yeah, and that was it. So, we're getting ready to go camping tomorrow. I'm super excited. I have all kinds of little stories to tell you. Um, and good morning, Vicki from South Australia. Um, it's so funny that it's a different day there and a different whole time, right? It's just very um, interesting. <laughs> so anyways, um, we took our truck in a week ago last Wednesday evening to get it fixed and I am fit to be tied. Like, I know I seem all sweet and nice and whatever, but don't wrong me <laughs> because I can go from zero to 60 in a second. <laughs> so we took our truck in to get it fixed. It's got an exhaust leak and when you start the engine, it kind of rattles and sounds funny and my husband is meticulous about his vehicles. So of course that makes him crazy. And so he wanted to get the exhaust fixed, which is a big bill. It's like $1,400 or something like that. And, um, and then he thought, well, as long as they're in the engine, which is why it costs so much money, change the spark plugs. We've never had the spark plugs changed. It's got probably like, I don't know, maybe 120,000 miles on it. It's a 2004, so it's really old, but it looks pristine because my husband is like, He's a maintenance neat freak. I've told you this before, right? So our truck looks like almost brand new. And I love that truck. Like, I love it. It is the most wonderful vehicle to drive. It floats and and it's substantial. And when you close the door, it's like you've got something to close, you know? Hi, Haley. <laughs> so anyways, um, we're getting it fixed. And we took it in a week ago last Wednesday evening when we got back from Marquette, Michigan. Well, guess what? Um, it's not done. And when he called to find out what's going on, they broke off some bolt and they were having a hard time getting it out. Okay, well, you can have it a couple more days. And then he calls again to find out where is it. And well, when they went to take the spark plugs out, the very last spark plug, which is like in the engine block or something like that, busted off and they can't get it out. <laughs> we need our truck tomorrow to go camping to pull my summer home. So I'm freaking out a little bit. Haley's freaking out a little bit because Haley and Jared and Val and Molly are coming with us. And so we're kind of freaking out a little bit. And then Molly's dad comes to the rescue because he has the same truck. His is new. <laughs> and he said, you guys can use my truck. I'll drive the Subaru, which is Steve's car. So that was really nice. So we do have a truck, but it's still very frustrating because our truck has a topper, theirs doesn't. You know, you can store lots of stuff in the back, you can't in theirs. And then you got the the whole issue of borrowing somebody else's vehicle, like what if a tree falls on it or somebody, you know, a kid rides by on a bicycle and scratches the side of it. Oh my Lord, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, um. I did call and leave a message on the um, auto shop's voicemail, <laughs> and I'm 
sure when they're listening to that message, they're not going to be very happy. I, I was not, I don't get rude on the phone, but I let them know in no uncertain terms that they've had our vehicle long enough. We scheduled an appointment. If they would have started working on it right away, all of this stuff would have been done and over with in that amount of time. So I'm not very happy, but we do have a truck to use if we need it. So <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, somebody's having storms, and I did miss who that was. I know there were um, a hurricane down in Texas last week. Hope you guys are okay. By the way, my water problems, because that's how we got on that. Like, I had a flood in my office last Sunday. Um, Janet, okay, we'll get back to that. Janet Schmidt, she's my aunt. We are going to Hatfield. We're going to be at Lake Arbutus starting tomorrow until next Sunday. Yay! It's one of our favorite places to camp. So you guys will have to come down and um, see us. Anyways, the flood in my office, I guess everything's okay. Like I didn't move my furniture and dry the floor because that's just like a huge undertaking that I can't deal. I just don't want to deal with it. So um, I don't know what's going on under my... my um, <clears throat> Calyx units. I have Calyx units from Ikea, but I don't know. Everything else looks fine. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, we did find a little thing that you pull the plug on the back of the air conditioning unit to drain the water out. Who knew? <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think Steve should have known that, but I just think he wasn't thinking about it. Anyways, um, Lake Arbutus, A-R-B-U-T-U-S. It's in central Wisconsin by Black River Falls, um, Debbie. It's a beautiful lake and beautiful campgrounds, and it's kind of where I grew up. Like, my mom lives about 20 miles north of that lake, and so that was our beach in the summer. That's where we went when we were kids and teenagers and had fun and went camping and um, my dad used to have an RV, so we would go camping there every summer for a week, too. It's just a really pretty place, and we're excited to take the kids there. So um, that'll be fun. So I've been busy. I made all the cupcakes and the brownies and the Rice Krispie bars. Steve was making, um, he was cooking meat today for tacos and crock pot lasagna, so we're going to have those. We figure we'll go out for pizza one night and fish one night. So we're handling it, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> it'll be fun. Anyways, um, I wanted to let you guys know before I get too far here. I will be on vacation starting tomorrow until Sunday. I do plan on being home in time to do my Facebook Live Sunday night. So, I'll have all kinds of great stories to share with you. Um, but I wanted to let you know. I've been having a lot of people order my pre-cut cardstock packs for my online classes in the last few days. And um, if you do order them between tomorrow and next Sunday, they'll go out next week because I won't be home. So I just want you to know that. But um, if you order them tonight before I go to bed, I will get them out in the mail for you. I have extras of the Artistry Blooms. That's this whole bundle of product, you guys. That um, is a kit class and it is phenomenal and you will love it. I have several of these still in my inventory. I have the July Celebrate Sunflowers online class. I made up extra those, extras of those, so I have a few of those left. I only have one Nothing's Better Than um, kit left, and I have several of the So Much Happy kits. So if anybody would like to order any of those, I can get those out if you put your order in right away tonight. Otherwise, you can order them while I'm gone and I'll get them out in the mail when I get back. So, um, yeah, I, th I think Haley is talking right now. Um, we're planning on bringing my um, mom's four-wheelers. She's got two four-wheelers down and, and doing some ATVing. We also rented a pontoon boat for a couple days, so that should be really fun, and a jet ski for a day. So, yay! <laughs> oh, and Marsh is asking about the Paper Pumpkin blog hop. I'm glad you're bringing that to my attention. So I was freaking out because I was under the gun and there was just so much going on. I I messaged our Paper Pumpkin blog hop administrator and said, listen, I'm really sorry. I just can't make it happen. And it's okay to skip, but you need to let her know, you know. And she goes, go check the group. We postponed it. So many people, because of the crazy mail, had not gotten their kit, their paper pumpkin kits that are in that blog hop, Marsha, that we moved it to this Thursday. 
fantastic news for me because I cranked out my alternate ideas. They're super cute. I made my video. It is ready um, for me to edit and get loaded up before I leave tomorrow. So on Thursday, you will be able to enjoy that blog hop with alternate ideas using the Summer Nights kit. And Susan said she's watching me on her new smart TV. Am I ginormous, Susan? <laughs> I love that when people show me their TV screen and I'm like life size. It's like, whoa. So anyhow, um, paper pumpkin blog hop coming this when this Thursday. Wednesday, my tip video will be out. Um, and my tip video is going to be the uh, recipe list for the Holiday mini catalog. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to watch your comments and think. <laughs> Just, I can't I can't chew gum and yeah, I can't do this and rub my belly either. I can't do any of that. <laughs> Let's just be real. So anyhow, um Wednesday I'll be sharing that recipe list with you for its recipes for all the projects in the holiday mini catalog, which goes live on Tuesday. Woo woo! And for those of you that have been patiently waiting for the release of our new die cutting machine, the Stampin' Emboss die cutting machine will be available to demonstrators on August 4th. And then it's going to be released to the public for ordering by everybody else on, I think, like September 1st or September 4th, something like that. So um, if you can hang tight, hang tight. The machine is pretty cool. I think you're going to like it. And I'll be showing it to you. Oh, and Lori. Lori's asking if I reached my million yet. Um, no, I actually have not. But I just checked my reports. I am $684.19 away from my million, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, woo! I know, I'm so excited, right? So it's gonna be coming here shortly. And I, last time I talked, I said about a week and a half, and I think I'm right on cue here. Oh, and thank you guys for the hearts. I'm just so excited. I have my last chain here. And so I'm sure we'll be celebrating that next Sunday. Yay. Uh, what else is happening? Um, da, 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 da. I, I wrote myself some notes because you know I can't remember anything. Steve's back went out. Apparently he's golfing a little too much as he should be retired, you know. So he went golfing and he had to leave like in the middle of his golf because his back like popped. He's had like two back surgeries, I think. So I'm hoping it's nothing serious. And I thought, well, that's great because we're going camping and I need him to be a strong man, right? <laughs> I need him to lift all the things and pack all the things and all the, all the camping things. So I'm kind of, you know, kind of treating him with kid gloves right now. Plus, um, when we get back next Sunday, on Monday morning, they're going to start ripping apart my master bedroom because we're having that remodeled. We're going to take out the closet. We're going to move it to a walk-in maybe type of closet with a sliding barn door. So we have to evacuate all the furniture from our bedroom into Haley's old bedroom, which is the one that we just had redone. It's sitting empty. And... That would have been fine and dandy before I got new furniture, but guess what? I got new furniture and it's super duper heavy. So he's like gonna lift up my shiffer robe so I can get the slidey pads out from under it. And I said, oh no, you don't. He's gonna lift this really heavy thing and then his back is gonna just like fly out. I'm like, nope, not gonna happen. Leave it alone. So I was pretty stern about it too. And I don't usually get too cranked up about things so he knew that he better not touch it <laughs> and yes it's Haley and Jared's first anniversary tomorrow August 3rd it's so crazy to believe that a year ago tomorrow we were at their wedding which was just beautiful I still just like get all mm, about it because it was just so pretty and wonderful and and Connie says she's ordering after the live thank you Connie <laughs> Okay, so somebody just asked, oh, the small one. Okay, so somebody just asked which machine will be available. The big die cutting machine will be available to demonstrators starting August 4th, 4th to customers starting September 1st or 4th, I don't know. But um, the small machine will come a little bit later. That's not quite ready yet. And that's going to be super cool and very cute. 
that's going to be the machine that fits these smaller embossing folders. You can keep it sitting right on your desk. It won't take up like hardly any space. It's only like about this big. I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm excited about that. Thank you for asking about that too. Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to ask you guys. So I have a little problem. Can you see this? Hang on. So I have these Ikea cabinets and this one doesn't like to stay closed. It's got these things in it where you push it and then it pops open. That one doesn't, this one stays closed, but this one does not. Do you guys know what I'm supposed to do about that? Just like, has anybody had that happen? Because it's really annoying. I bonk my chair into it all the time. And um, every time I push down on the floor or step on the floor right in front of it, the door pops open. And I'm like, oh my lord. Okay, so... Um, so if anybody does, just pop me an email. Let me know how you, what you do about that. My email is kelly at stampabove.com. So thanks, you guys, for wishing Haley and Jared a happy first anniversary. Um, next, I have prizes because I love to give away the prizes, right? So let me get these in order. I've got, okay, I've got, okay, so those are two extra ones. Here's, I got it, got it under control. Okay, four comments. So there's three ways to win prizes. Oh, yeah, and then I need, um, I don't have any updates on John. I did not find out what happened to his work truck that's dented in the back. Um, I haven't seen John at all, and I've been so busy. So um, I have no John news at all. I'm very sorry. I know that's disappointing to a lot of you. <laughs> if John only knew the celebrity that he is. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, three ways to win. The first way is by leaving a comment. So if you're new to me, please just leave one comment so that you let me know that you are here later. Um, I go back through all those comments and I enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. <laughs> I love saying that. Um, so by commenting, you get entered sharing my video. If you click on that share button right now, you can share this video and that really helps me grow my business. So I appreciate that. I appreciate it so much that I enter you in another fabulous prize drawing. And then of course, last but not least, when you place an order with me, you get entered into another fabulous prize drawing. So <laughs> three ways to win and tonight we actually have four and I'll talk about that in just a second. So for commenting. I have this tags and more accessory kit and you can't see the tags. They're super cute and colored and they're all die cut. You get all this baker twine. You get this um, copper colored washi tape and also these little copper clips. These are super, super cute. For commenting on my Facebook Live last week, my big winner is Terry Davies from Erie, Colorado. Congratulations, Terry. This will be out in the mail to you tomorrow. And let me tell you, I have all the postage ready for these to roll. I've got the envelopes the right size so they fit in there. All I have to do is stick them in, put them with the rest of my mail that's going out. I'm winning. Today, I'm winning the struggle to stay ahead of the game. <laughs> um, and I have to say, big shout out to my mom. My mom was here all weekend and today I put her to work. We got all of our technique cards, our, my technique club, my online technique club cards, all in the envelopes, address labels, stamps, um, return address stamps on them. We got them all packaged up. They're headed in the mail tomorrow. Then there's more. I got all of my labels printed for all my online orders for the month of July. My mom helped stuff the envelopes and put the address labels on them and put the stamps on them and stamped the return address labels. Those are also in the mail. This has to be a record. I don't think I have ever, ever gotten thank you cards out on the second of the month, like ever. So all of my people that I have helping me right now, Haley is a huge help, my friend Rachel and my mom today, we are winning people. So. Back to this. This will be going out to Terry. Oh, I shouldn't show you her address, sorry. <laughs> this will be going out to Terry and I'm gonna put that right over there on my pile of envelopes that have the postage on them already. <laughs> and then 
for sharing my video. I have one of these kerchief card kits. These are so gorgeous. They were part of our celebration promotion. And I just, I think I have maybe one more left. Um, they sold out very quickly because they were so popular. My big winner for sharing the video last week is Char Holt of New Berlin, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Char. This is on its way in the mail to you tomorrow. Last but not least here, well, not quite last, but we'll talk about that in a second, is for placing an order, I am going to give away this cute fruit stamp set. And from my orders last week, between last Sunday and today, Sheila Crutchfield of Colleen, Texas, you are going to get this cutie patootie stamp set. You're going to love it. It's just the cutest. Okay, congratulations to all of you. Then I want to talk a little bit about the mystery stamping challenge. I had 37 people that posted cards under the Facebook um, post for the mystery card challenge. Oh, and I said I was going to share the other cards. Remember, hang on a second. Remember this card? This is the one that I demonstrated for you guys last week. We used a three by five and a half inch DSP layer and then another layer underneath that was three and a quarter by five and a half, a card base, ribbon, embellishments, and some type of a label with the sentiment. That was your challenge. 37 people. 37 people shared their beautiful creations. You guys did a fantastic job on these. So I was going to show you the rest of the cards that I made. I actually did this as a mystery stamping challenge with my team for our team meeting last month. And here's one of the other cards that I made. Again, using the same Artistry Blooms designer series paper and the Ridiculously Happy sentiment set. And here is, again, the same layout with the same stamp set, the same ribbon, uh, same embellishments, artistry blooms, and also the same designer series paper. And here's the last one that I created. And again, everything's same, same, and same. Same everything, right? The only thing it was, oh no, that one's the same. I used the same stuff on all of them. I was thinking I used a different embellishment on this one, but I didn't. So yeah, this is all the same layout, and yet each one is unique, depending on whether you turn it this way and this way, this way, exact same layout. So that was highly popular, and we will be doing that again. Um, it was It's really fun to see what you guys come up with, and I think you enjoyed it also by the number of people that participated. So... 37 people participated, and I definitely want to reward you with a drawing. So I did a drawing for those with those 37 names. I have two winners because we had so many people doing it. First winner is going to get the scalloped note card and envelopes. This is a really nice little pack of 20 cards and 20 envelopes in various colors. Our winner of that is Jenny Miller. And Jenny, I need your address. So could you please email me, kelly at astampabove.com. And if I get your email tonight, I'll get this out in the mail to you right away tomorrow. If I don't hear from you tonight, don't panic. It's fine, but I just won't be mailing it until I get back from my amazing camping trip. <laughs> the other winner is going to get one of these cute little... Um, calendars. This was part of a paper pumpkin kit and I believe Terry Mullinex sent me a ton of these or was it Cindy Lesko? Somebody sent me a whole bunch of these to share with everyone because they got a bunch of them in the mail and I am going to give this one to Terry Sampson of St. Michael, Minnesota for um, also winning the drawing for the mystery stamping. So Congratulations, you guys. Thank you to everybody who participated. It just makes it so fun when we have so many different cards to look at. Um, let's see. This, I've got, Terry, I've got your address. You don't, you know that. And Jenny, I need your address. So I'm going to set that right back there so I do not lose it. Okay. When we are done stamping tonight. I have a ton of mail and I'm going to go through as much of it as I can. I'm still 
trying to catch up from the birthday cards. I also have some um, gifts that were sent to Val that I want to share with you guys. And I'm going to do that tonight, regardless of whether they came like within the last week or prior to that. Because I need to give those things to Haley and Jared so Val can use them. So, I think, whoops, I think we're ready to stamp. I am going to turn my camera around and we're gonna ooh, we're gonna get started I'm actually gonna be showing you the um, online technique club technique card for July those are the ones that just went out in the mail today and I have them all done and waiting to be mailed today which never happens so I was pretty proud of myself <laughs> yeah I know how to toot my own horn I'm really good at it <laughs> Okay, let's flip this camera around and we are going to get started. Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And oh, Sue said that was the first challenge she's ever done and it was so much fun. We will do some more challenges, Sue, and I'm so glad that you gave it a whirl. It's really easy to load your pictures on a Facebook group. You just go to my page, um, a stamp above dash your creative coach, scroll down until you see the mystery stamping, and then right underneath where you would write a comment like, oh, this is fun or these are really pretty. Instead, there's a little camera right there and you just click on that camera and you take a picture of your card and that'll load it right in there. You can only do one picture at a time under a post like that, but it's super duper easy to participate. So thank you guys, all of you. Okay, if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them. There's no throwing up in stamping. Sometimes there's a little bit of crying, but <laughs> there's no throwing up. Okay, let's get this da, 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 right down here. And I think we are, are we straight? Yep, my phone is plugged in. I'm pretty sure it's charging. Here we go. Oh, I got to bring myself up on the screen. So I'll just let you look at those pretty Christmas cards. There's a little story behind these Christmas cards. And you probably saw them. They were part of my um, blog hop on Saturday. And if you didn't see them, all the details about these in a video tutorial are on my blog. But do you, I am in love with these words and the three layers of dyes. Super, super cool. So I was less than enthusiastic to be making Christmas cards. And I was working on this in July. Um, and I know people do Christmas in July, and maybe I need to try that, but I, I, I'm always so far behind that I can't even possibly comprehend that. Like, it's just not a thing for me. <laughs> but anyways, so I was a little like, oh my lord, I don't know why we have to use Christmas, and I have to make Christmas cards, and it's July, and the I'm sweating to death. Today I'm freezing, that's Wisconsin. But anyways, um, once I started on these cards, I was giddy. Haley was here, and I was just giddy about how fun they and how nice they were turning out. I used the um, In Good Taste Designer Series paper. It's just a bunch of different textures. This is a wood grain. I used the exact same products for both of these cards, but I just love the way they turned out. It was really fun. Oh, and is somebody having problems I'm just looking here now are we getting a new challenge um I will be doing another mystery challenge Melanie in the future but I do not have one tonight um I also am going to be doing a challenge with my team another mystery challenge and I need to get that together but it's probably not going to happen this week we have a team meeting on August I want to say, oh, the 13th, I believe. So I need to get on that. I'll probably do it when I get back from my camping trip. But all my team meetings are virtual, you guys. And in order to be on my team, you can you can um, order our kit, which gets you in. But you can be a discount shopper and do nothing more than discount shop. You get a 20% discount on all your orders. And then there's a ton of benefits that go with it. Or you can build a business. You can build a business like I have, or you can build a business much smaller. It's completely up to you. <clears throat> but I have a virtual team meeting every month, and that's where I have a ton of fun. So we did that mystery stamping with my team meeting, too, and they made some beautiful, beautiful projects. Anywho, this was my 
um, Stamping Society blog hop, and we were challenged to use the tree angle or the peace and joy bundles um, to make our cards. And then we also have a private video tutorial that you get for free when you place an order with me, or if you're not ordering from me, you can buy it for $7. And all this information is on my blog. My blog link is right here. If you are placing an order with me and your order is under $150, please use this host code when you're prompted. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stamping Up and I definitely want you to have them. And I always appreciate your orders. So thank you, thank you in advance. But you'll get that exclusive video tutorial with six more projects in it for free when you do place an order in the month of August. Okay, are we ready? I think we're ready. I am going to bring out my card layers here and get all the bits and pieces out. Here we go, here we go. Here's an envelope. Oh, I got two envelopes, that's funny. And a piece of vellum. So here's what we have. Oh, where's my, let me get my little mat out here. This is one of our piercing mats. I use this to stamp on for any of you that may not have known that or are new to me. Hang on, let me get this off my table. Can't get it up. Um, I just wrap it with a piece of printer weight paper to protect it and then I use it as my stamping surface. It keeps my table clean and it gives just that little bit of cushion that our bigger photopolymer stamps need to stamp successfully. So we've got Whisper White Thick. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I always score the thick Whisper White and it's scored at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna burnish that edge good with my bone folder. And then I've got a little piece of vellum. This is, mm -mm, that's not right. Mm. Three quarters by four and three quarters. My little cheat sheet says it's one and three quarters, but it's not. It's three quarters by four and three quarters. That's our vellum cardstock. Then I've got a piece of Coastal Cabana that was, um, that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And a piece of crumb cake that's three and three quarters by five. I'm just looking at my messages here. Diana says she was switched back and forth between Kelly and Wow Nola. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what that means? I don't know. Okay, um, I'll try and watch for an answer. And a whisper white envelope. Now. I'm going to be using, let me put this away, I'm going to be using the Dandelion 3D embossing folder, you guys. This is so, so pretty, and um, it's just so elegant that it kind of makes your whole card. You don't have to do a lot more to a card when you use a folder like this that's such a statement because it, it just, it, it says it all, it does it all. I decided to bring in the Dandelion Wishes stamp set because, well, why wouldn't you? And I wanted something to stamp on the inside. This is a really pretty little stamp set from our annual catalog. I love the fonts on the words and I love these dandelions. They're so pretty. And I have a really hard time spelling dandelion because I always want to put an I instead of an E. I don't know what my deal is, but just thought I'd share that useless information with you. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to hang on just a second please and thank you guys so much for explaining the comment and just so you know I don't want anybody to be offended but if you could please not promote another demonstrator or demonstrators name on my Facebook live I would really appreciate that and I know a lot of people don't really think about it but yeah I, we're not yeah please don't do that that's just not good for anybody well it's good for them <laughs> it's not so good for me <laughs> so thank you guys so much for not doing that and the other thing that I ask that we refrain from is posting links that take you anyplace else regardless of what they're for yeah hang on just a second I'm going back through all the comments but I do appreciate your comments so please don't 
Please don't say, oh, I'm never commenting again. Some people get really bent out of shape like that, and that's that's just not useful. So just consider it. Didn't know. Now you do. Thank you. Okay, I am going to take this crumb cake layer. Yeah, no, it's okay. Bobby, I did ask who it was, so you're fine. That's why I'm saying it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I am going to take this, and I'm going to place it. Whoops, I'm going to place it in here so I get all the dandelions on it. But I'm going to put it in here just about right here, okay? And then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. Now, this is a 3D embossing folder, so you need your blue plate on top. And then, of course, through the magic, I've already done it. And I hope you guys can see the detail. I'm going to try to hold this still and tip it in the light. And I'll stand up and see if you can see the detail of this because it is just so, so very, like, subtle but pretty and charming. I absolutely love it. Okay, so um, the name of this folder is Dandelion's 3D Folder. Yeah, you're going to, you're you'll love it. It's really pretty. So because this is so subtle, uh, this is where my technique comes in. This is called highlighted embossing. And I'm going to bring in my white craft ink pad. This is a Whisper White Craft ink pad. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that ink on a sponge and I am just going to highlight the raised images on my dandelions. And you can of course do this with any color of ink. I chose white because I just wanted this to be very, very subtle. And I hope you guys can see that. It's just very subtle, but it, it really makes the embossed area pop. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, and Marsha's asking if you can still buy the blue plate. So, no, you can't right now. Here's the deal. Stampin' Up! ran out of blue plates, and we have a new manufacturer making them for our new embossing machine. Um, they are going to be available on September when the new embossing machine is available to customers. If you have any of these 3D embossing folders and you don't have the blue plate, what you can do, hang on, what you can do is you can add your cutting plate to the top and just your platform under here, no cutting plate under here, just your cutting plate to the top. And then you're going to take some cheap white cardstock and you're going to cut five sheets in half. You're going to stack all ten half sheets on here and run it through your machine. Your machine might be a little different than my machine, but that's what I did before I could get that blue plate because they weren't available right away. Ten sheets. Um, try it. If it seems way too tight, back off a sheet or two and just keep going until you find out what the, what the um, layer requirement is for your machine. But... Until we can get those, they're called a specialty plate. Until we can get the specialty plates for the 3D embossing folders, that's what we're going to have to do. And I just called Stampin' Up! about that on Friday. So that is the most current information. Because I had um, a customer, Barbara, right here in my area, who just got the Tasteful Textures embossing folder, which is a 3D folder, and she goes, how do I use this? And I said, well, you need the blue plate, and she doesn't have it. And I was like, oh my lord, now what? So I called Stampin' Up! and said, uh, you know, my customer needs this plate, and they said to please um, hang tight. It'll be available as soon as the new machine is available to the public. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, I have got a scrap of Coastal Cabana. And thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. I've got a scrap of Coastal Cabana. I'm going to bring in my well-written dies. And look at these. This is like the cutest little set of dies. This is in our annual catalog. You get all of these words in this beautiful little font, as well as bird, heart, butterfly, the and symbol, exclamation point, a bunch of little single flowers, a sprig with flowers, and then these leaves, as well as all of these. And I just think this is the cutest little die set ever. Um, I like to use it to accompany other, you know, as just like a supplement to another bundle. So what I did is I grabbed the Miss and the U, which is here somewhere. Oh, that was not very hard. 
Okay, so I grabbed the Miss and the U. Whoops, hang on, I got dyes flying everywhere and I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> hang on, will I take my clothes off? <laughs> Woo! Okay, um, what I did here is I took some of our adhesive sheets. And let's see, do I have some? Yep, I got, nope, I don't have any little bits. I thought I had some little bits out here. But anyways, I took some of our adhesive sheets and I cut them about a little bit smaller than my scrap. And then I stuck them on my scrap. And you can see there's a line here and a line here. There's a break in these. So you get three long strips. These are six by 12 and you get 12 sheets of it. So there's a lot. And again, these are called adhesive sheets. So when you go to the online store, if you wanna add those to your order, you just type in the search bar, adhesive sheets, and they'll pop right up. They're fairly inexpensive. And they're really handy. Well, I'll put those away later. <laughs> they're really hard to get back in the package, but they're really handy to have. So what I did is I took this and I die cut it, the Miss You. And you I love doing this with little dies. And oh my Lord, I think I just lost. Nope, I got it. I thought the U stuck to me and it was gone. And I die cut the Miss You. Can you guys see? Okay, am I far away from you? I'm going to see if I can get my camera. Yeah, it won't it won't let loose right now. Whoops, sorry. I'm sorry if I'm making anybody sick. I was just going to try to get a little closer, but it's locked and I can't deal with that. <laughs> Not going to lie. I just thought I could get a little closer for you. But anyways, here, I'll hold this up. That might work good. This is the Miss You. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use... My take your pick tool. I like to use that just to get that backing started coming off. Okay. And then we're gonna take, well, I should have done this first. We're gonna take our vellum and I'm gonna set this right there. Don't let me forget where it is. We're gonna take our vellum and I'm going to wrap this around my layer. So I'm just pinching over the edges. I made this long enough so it'll it'll wrap nicely. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna secure it with a couple mini glue dots in the back. You could use tape, you could use, you know, whatever you whatever you have handy, just secure this. I wanna make sure this is straight here before I lock it down. There we go. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm going to take my miss and add it right about there. Now I'm just gonna barely set that down because if I need to reposition it, I don't wanna stick it down all the way. And let's see. We are going to, there we go. Thought I had it, I did, yay! Get this off of here. What I've done with those adhesive sheets if I, I've turned this into a sticker, which is really pretty cool. So I've got my Miss and my U, and that looks pretty good, so I'll stick them both down. And then I wanted to grab some rhinestones. Let's see how many packs do I have stuffed over here now. <laughs> I have so many going. Do you guys do that at home too? Where you're like, oh, I don't know where it is. I'll just grab another pack. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take a little rhinestone and I'm going to use that for my eye and then I'm going to add a big one right up here a medium-sized one right there that's a cute little embellishment it's super simple inexpensive won't cost you extra postage and now we're going to adhere this layer to Get my glue started here. I tend to leave my glue laying open on my desk for long periods of time, so sometimes I just have to grab the tip. It'll have like a little, here it is right here, a little dried piece of glue in it. Once I get that out, everything rolls like butter. Okay. Here we go. And then we're going to do just a little bit of stamping Look at, I got a smudge on the front of my card, so I'm gonna use this for my card front. 
because this is going to cover it up, right? That's the way to think. <laughs> I've got Colsucabana. And you guys, before I lose these dies, I'm going to put them away. There we go. That just makes me feel better. And I've got this stamp right here, and I'm going to ink that up in my Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to put that right on the corner of the inside of my card. So we're ready to put this on. Oh, by the did I tell you? Yeah, I told you the um, dimensions. You can always find all the dimensions for my projects that I make here for you on my blog. Let's see if I can get this straight. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, right here, all the dimensions are on my blog. And then we've also got this envelope, and I want to do kind of the same thing to my envelope. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Super quick and easy, but I love the dandelion folder. This is my technique for my online technique club. And along with that, they also get an instruction sheet. And I just used a different embossing folder here, and I did the same thing with the sponge and the ink to highlight the bricks on the brick and mortar embossing folder. And so you get a, a sample of the technique on an instruction card, which is super fun. And everybody gets this in the mail that belongs to the Online Technique Club. So if you're interested in any information on that, you can find it on the right-hand column of my blog. You're just going to look for Online Technique Club. It costs, it, it costs. You place a minimum $25 order with me every month for six months. You get a $30 product credit at the end of your six month period. And I send you this card and an instruction card with the technique every month while you're in the technique club. The only thing you have to do if you go look at the information and you decide that you wanna join, you just pop me an email and say, Kelly, I want to join your online technique club and I will get you in there and get you all the details out in an email so that you know exactly what to do and what's expected. But it's really fun and I know that all the people that are in that online technique club really enjoy it. Here, I'll just leave this out here while I get loaded up here for the next one. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, and those are the cards that went out in the mail today, earlier than ever. Yay! Oh, where's my drink? <gasps> you guys, look at the pretty card. I'll be right back. I don't have my drink. Did you hear my creepy, creaky door? Yeah, I need Steve to fix that because it's very annoying. I left my drink out in the hallways, but I, we're good now. What are you guys drinking? I have my strawberry lemonade, and I have it all packed to go with me on my trip. Mm. Cindy, thank you so much. Cindy says, I love her technique club. It is really fun. It's fun to get a little happy mail in the mail every month, right? And then you can accumulate all these cards and so when you're looking for an idea, hang on, to stamp with, I put them in here. You could put a three ring um, hole in them and a big three ring, um, one of those metal loopy things. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And you have all of these technique cards so you don't forget all this stuff that we learn all the time and then like, I can't remember it like two weeks later. I'm, I've forgotten, right? So yeah, it's pretty cool being in the Technique Club. This is how I store mine. Who's ready for the next card? Oh, I have a swap to show you too. So we'll do that also as soon as we're done with this card. You guys are gonna love this. Yeah, and Haley said too, with the um, dandelions, that is exactly what our tattoo looks like. Haley and I went and got a tattoo matching tattoos when she was 18 and uh, 
I don't, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I want to get into all of that, but we have rules in our house about tattoos, and um, she has followed them thus far, so I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to go. I don't want to offend anybody, but <clears throat> we do have um, a tattoo, and it says, You are my sunshine, I believe in French. It's written in French with the, with the dandelion. It's really quite cute. Okay. You guys, I am super duper excited to be sharing some brand new products with you. And Haley Jade, this is the card that you designed for my swap. So, pretty exciting here. This is Haley's card. I have a whole bunch more cards to share with you. As soon as I show you how to make this beauty. So, I can't show you the inside of our holiday catalog yet. Whoops, I just did. Hang on. Whoops. There's a there's a front here somewhere. Um, maybe not. Hang on. I'm having technical difficulties. Okay. Holiday mini catalog. I can't show you the inside until Tuesday, but all this stuff goes live on Tuesday, guys. And we are going to be using this gorgeous, gorgeous suite. This is the beautiful autumn stamp set. It's part of the Gilded Autumn Suite. It also comes with designer series paper. And Haley, I don't think we made up our um, DSP sampler yet with this paper, did we? I don't think we did. I need to have you do that. Sorry about that, you guys, but maybe we did. Hang on. I'm looking. There's a bunch that I don't have done yet. Oh, we did! Yay! Look at that! Woohoo! Again, we are winning here in Menasha, Wisconsin. So, this is the Gildum, Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper, and it has brass and gold in it, and it is so, so very pretty. It's perfect for autumn. I absolutely love it. By the way, these Designer Series paper samplers I do have available to purchase the kits to make them on my blog. Again, blog address right here, right hand column, it's under online classes. You go there and you can push a PayPal button and buy a whole set of these. There are 12 different designer series papers that I have um, these kits for that you can order. I have a lot of people that always like to ask about that, so I just wanna make sure you know. Okay, beautiful autumn stamp set goes with this amazing, punch bundle. Isn't this cool? We have an acorn, an oak leaf, and a maple leaf. And I just totally, this is called Autumn Punch Pack. I just totally made up the leaf names, but I'm pretty sure they're right. <laughs> like, like, I'm just totally guessing that that's what these leaves are. So, and an acorn. I know what an acorn is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oak and maple leaf. Okay. Then we also have these adorable acorn trinkets. Look at how pretty these are. These are in brass. They are, is that what they're called, brass? Let me look. Acorn trinkets, hang on. Antique copper, sorry, antique copper finish. But they are super, super cute. We're gonna use those. I'm also gonna be using the banner pick a punch Brand new punch, it does the banner end either way, the up way and the down way. You get half inch, three quarter inch, one inch channels, so you can do six different sizes of banners with this puppy. This is going to be a must have for everybody because we have needed this for a very long time. Also included in there is Okay, so hang on a second. Um, hang on, Kathy. I'll get to your question in just a minute. These beautiful, beautiful ribbons. These are absolutely gorgeous. This is the basket weave and metallic ribbon. So look at that. Does look like a basket weave. Very, very cool. And then Kathy just said she cannot tell which is the gold and which is the brass. So in this set right here of paper, this is gold, and these other leaves are brass. This is brass, this is gold, this is brass, this has brass and gold in it, and this is gold. So I hope that helps. 
But yeah, I like to just kind of tilt it in the light until I get the color. Because sometimes if you tilt in the light, it's just shiny, right? But if you keep tilting it in the light, we've got gold and brass. Oh, it's copper. Sorry, it's not brass. <laughs> it's copper. This is copper. I was thinking it was brass. But you get gold and copper on all of these. And I just tip it in the light make sure then you can see it better. Okay, so I'm glad you asked that question. Oh my gosh, Tanya just had a tornado touchdown outside of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, right by where she lives. Oh, I'm glad we've got your mind off of that. That's terrible. I hope everything's okay. Scary stuff, Tanya. Very scary. Okay. Whew. Yeah, tornadoes. I used to live in Missouri until I was like 11, and um, we had lots of tornadoes there too. Now, what I'm going to do here, I've got a little scoring to do. So this is our fun fold sneak peek card for the night. I am going to score. I've got my paper trimmer here. Whoops. <laughs> Things are falling. <laughs> I'm going to score this at five and a half. And again, this is completely Haley's design. She designed this card. And can I just say, she designed a whole bunch of cards for me this month for a bunch of swaps that I was in, and they were gorgeous. Like, so pretty. My swap friends are, like, messaging me and telling me, oh my gosh, that swap card you just sent is amazing. And while my swap cards are nice, I mean, I, I stamp nice things, I don't usually get people messaging me telling me that they're nice. <laughs> Of funny so I made sure to pass that information on to Haley because it is all hers it was it was not my doing at all okay so we have scored at five and a half and nine and a half and now we're just going to fold on those score lines this is early espresso and it is four and a quarter by eleven and again all these measurements can be found on my blog after I get done and get everything loaded up so just know that then I have a piece of vanilla that is just a three quarter inch wide strip. We're going to make it shorter. Another piece of our very vanilla that's three and a quarter by four and seven eighths. A scrap of vanilla, and I wrote scrap on it so I wouldn't get confused. <laughs> a piece of Cajun craze. This is two and three quarters by four. And hang on, I'm just trying to look at um, messages here. And then another piece of Cajun Craze that is three and a half by five and an eighth. Two pieces of the designer series paper. This one is one and a quarter by four, and this is two and a half by three and three quarters. And again, all of these will be on my blog. So here's what we're going to do. Um, hang on a second. We're going to do our stamping first. So we need this one. Oh, I'm missing a little piece, aren't I? I think I miss. Hang on. I'm missing. Yep, I'm missing a piece. Here it is. Of mint macaron. Sorry. And this mint macaron piece is one inch, and it's just however long we need it to be. So we're going to cut that off. So we're going to do our stamping first. And I'm going to bring in Early Espresso ink. And I've got the... Where did that stamp set just go? Do you guys see? Oh, here it is. This beautiful autumn stamp set has 20 different images in it, so that's pretty cool. I've got the one that says, have a beautiful day, and it looks like it's curved, so I'm going to reposition it here. When you go to put your stamps on, if you just leave them lay down here, especially if it's just a tiny little strip like that, and it'll, it'll go back into the shape that it's supposed to be. I think I just kind of moved it when I put it on my block and it made it curved. And I don't want it to be curved. So we're going to go right about here. Have a beautiful day. And then we're going to take this little strip. And I've got the saying that says, life is better with you. And I'm going to put that right about here there we go oh that turned out really good okay then with our scrap we need a couple little leaves and we're going to use our Cajun craze and early espresso for that 
our outline is going to be early espresso and we're going to do two of those. I better look at my punch and make sure that this is going to punch out the right way. And it is. I just want to make sure that it's going to line up right. It's always a good idea to look at your punch so you can see what's going on. And then... There we go. Oh my gosh, this is just so rich looking. I did pretty good. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me close these up. My mom... My mom was stamping my return address and some like images on all the envelopes today, like, like this. And she only got her fingers into the ink a couple times. And she's like, oh, I just stuck my finger in the ink. And my mom is not a stamper. And so it was kind of cute because I'm like, well, I think you're doing really good because I would have had my fingers in the ink like eight times already. So Mama Karen did great. There we go. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. <gasps> I love it. Way too. There's other cards that Haley made with this suite too. And I can't wait to share them with you. But I don't want to overwhelm you with all of her mad stamping skills at once. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but she is really good. <laughs> okay. So now we've got these two here. We've got this little deal. We're going to adhere this to our mint macaron layer. So where did my glue go? Right here. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle. Try my best to get it centered. And then, where's my paper cover? I'm going to bring that in so I can get a nice straight little edge out here. And I think I'll go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it here and see if this is going to be long enough. So let me tell you how long this is. And if it doesn't work, we'll have to start over. This is three and three eighths. So three and three eighths inch long. And then we're going to bring in our banner punch. And just like the other punches like this you just put it in I like to look at the back to make sure it's pushed all the way in there punch boom that looks great okay now we're gonna take our little leaves oh and I need that one punch this one is called the detailed trio punch because I need to have oops we're not ready for that yet I need to put some holes in my leaves. And I'm just gonna use my piercing mat here with my take your pick tool. We got that dangerous pokey end on it. And I'm just gonna pop a little hole in there and pop a little hole in there. So that's, that's what I've done now. I've put just tiny little holes in my leaves. And then I'm going to, hmm. Haley used one of my handheld punches. Hang on, I gotta grab it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for all this. Here we go. This is like an eighth inch punch. We don't sell these anymore, so just do whatever you gotta do. Do whatever you gotta do to punch a hole, just like that, okay? All right, now we gotta get all this stuff together so we can assemble this amazingly beautiful card. And I'm going to add this bigger DSP layer. Now you want to make sure that your leaves are going up and down when you cut it. Because we, oh, we had that fun, didn't we, Hills? <laughs> uh, yep. Um, hang on a second. She's watching me and she's probably going, no, Mom, don't do that. I almost stuck it to the wrong layer. Here we go. Beautiful. And now we're going to put this on the front of our fun fold just like this oh, I love these colors together you guys they're just so beautiful and rich next is this piece and we're gonna put this right up here just like that and then we're going to add just a little tiny little line of glue 
to that outside edge. I'm kind of closing it a little bit so I know how far to go. It's probably a better idea to add it to this part, not that part. Because you don't want to go beyond where this is going to cover it up, right? Okay, so we're going to do that. And now you can add some glue right here. Glue that down. We are going to take, this is just kind of all assembly. Once you get all your pieces cut, this is just so easy. We're making a pocket card. And they're really fun. I like pocket cards because they are simple, but yet they have a good wow factor. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to take some of our, what's this stuff called, you guys? Linen thread. Hang on a second. Oh, I'm, I'm totally missing all your comments, you guys. My computer isn't scrolling like it should, and I have to pay attention. <laughs> because I didn't actually make this card yet. So I have to kind of pay attention so I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go. We're gonna take the linen thread and we're gonna wrap it around here three times, four times, whatever works for you. I'm gonna leave some tails here so I can tie a bow. Oops. So I've got some pretty decent tails left on here. We're gonna tie this in a knot right about here and that's kind of important also because we're going to put that tag on and our little leaves. So now we're going to put this in here and we're going we're to feed both of these ends up through that eighth inch hole. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna hold our tag on here. Now my tag's a little bit longer. Let me see if I can make that a little bit shorter. I don't like it this long. Haley's is shorter. This could be very dangerous, what I'm doing right now. Not like anybody's gonna die or anything, but I could just jack up the whole thing. Oh, that looks better. I like that better. Don't you like that better? I think that's better. Okay, so we're gonna put those two on there. Then we're going to bring in this and this is going to be tricky. I don't know how Haley did this, but let's see if I can. I think we need to do it from the back. Haley, how on earth did you get this in here? She's going to love them. It wasn't easy. However, you can get this threaded through your little leaves. And that's how I did it. I just pushed it down. So I've got my leaf backwards like this. I'm going to put my linen thread right in here and I'm just going to push it through that hole with my pokey tool. That wasn't bad at all. I thought that was going to be kind of a little nightmare, but it was no big deal. Okay, so there's a, is, isn't that just so so charming, right? That these little leaves are here like this. Then we're going to take one of these little acorns and we're going to tie this on to our card. Oh, is that what we, oh, that's not quite what she did. But I'll show you hers in a second. Hers is a little different. Oops. Hang on here. <laughs> I keep getting my leaves stuck in my twine. Okay, whew, all right. And now I'm just gonna tie this in a bow. Hers is a little bit different. <gasps> Look how cute it is! Oh, hang on. I'll hold it up for you in just a second so you can see a little closer. We're going to trim this off a little bit. Now, for this part, I, she put a hole in it. I'm going to use my detailed trio punch, and I'm going to put that right here in the middle. And I've just punched a little hole in it, and then we're going to get out this basket weave ribbon. And oops, I'm going to 
make it so that I can loop it in there. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna double it up here and then cut it so I have a good pointy end. Then you can feed it through the hole. Just like a bookmark. I don't pull this too hard because you don't want to rip your little circle that you punched out. So you got to be kind of careful with that, right? Okay. And then I'm going to just trim this down. Mm. I must have some glue on my scissors. I'm going to cut this quite short. There we go. Look at that. Are you guys ready? What do you think? Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? So here's Haley's card. She actually has two little leaves right here. They're kind of stuck together. There we go. And she tied her baker's twine or linen thread all underneath here and just looped it up and pulled all those down in there. So there's like a loop and then it goes back through the hole. I did it just a little bit different. Either way is fine. Now, if you wanted to, you could put some mini glue dots on your leaves if you want to want them to be held in place in a specific place. You could also take and put a mini glue dot behind your little tag here to make that stay in place if you wanted to. But I'm going to leave these completely loose. What do you guys think? Did she not do just an incredibly beautiful job with this? Yeah. So don't forget this is available starting on Tuesday, August 4th. This is called the Gilded Autumn Suite. And it is incredibly beautiful. Like, just so incredibly beautiful. I'm, I, I love fall. It is my second favorite um, season. That's it. Season. My second favorite season ever. I absolutely love it. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Nice little pocket card. Way to go, Haley Jade. And of course, I would take... Oh, we didn't have an envelope. Let's see. Do I have any vanilla envelopes? Hang on, I'm digging around. And of course, things are going to fall. As they always do, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see, what are we gonna do to our envelope? I think I am going to stamp, since we have the ink colors out here, I think I'll stamp some of these little leaves, just like this. We wanna make this a whole, the whole enchilada. And make sure I get the top of my envelope here. And I'm just gonna kinda of whirl these all around just like that. And then we'll go down in here. Let me stand up. Oh my gosh, I just love this early espresso with the Cajun craze. It's so rich. And of course, autumn, especially in the Midwest, and I know the East Coast too, when you start going east, Michigan, and out to the East Coast. Our colors are just so phenomenally beautiful in the fall. And that's, I think, one of the attractions to fall for me is just how beautiful it is. Okay, so we have a matching envelope. Absolutely gorgeous. I have a bunch of other cards to share with you using this suite that I've gotten from Swap. So I wanted to show those. Hang on just a second while I get this stuff moved out of the way. And I will show you some more fantastic ideas by my demonstrator friends. Get my stamps all cleaned off here and my basket. Now, I'm also very happy to tell you guys that I have my blog post. I have my photos done. I have my blog post ready to roll so when I get done with my Facebook Live tonight, all I need to do is wait to upload um, the video. Like, it takes a little bit of time to upload the video. I'm going to upload the video and get it all posted to my blog so you'll be able to find all those dimensions and ingredients and take a look at them. 
before they'll be in the supply list before they're available to the public. And I hope you guys all got your mini catalogs because if you did not receive your holiday mini catalog by now, it's probably not going to show up. And I just want to tell you that so that if you haven't received it, please contact me and I will be happy to mail you out another one. Um, Stampin' Up! sends them all out bulk mail because, of course, that's the most efficient and inexpensive way to be able to keep the cost down of the catalogs for us. And bulk mail just isn't always the most reliable. We all know that, right? Okay, I think I got my mess cleaned up here. Let me get this out of the way. Get that out of the way. Oops. Yeah, so I have many, many more cards that I'm going to be sharing with you, but I'm going to share some with you today. I'll be making more with you in the future. This is just a beautiful card using the same bundle. This is from my friend Denise Johnson. Here's another gorgeous one, and I don't know who made this. Beautiful, beautiful card. Here is another beautiful card. Look at that. Ah, fun fold. We love the fun folds. There's that little acorn and that gorgeous ribbon. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, Cindy's saying bow jig. Yep, I've got that sitting here on my desk, Cindy. Don't worry. Here is another absolutely gorgeous card. This one is made by Susan Campfield. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Another beautiful card. Now look how that ribbon frays. That is very, very cool looking. This one, I don't know who made this one. This one just came in a swap that I was in. This is Julie Davidson. It uses that text, Tasteful Textiles embossing folder there if you can see it. It's very simple, but I love that. You can make a ton of these, right? And then this is one of my favorites. Look at how pretty this is. This is a different leaf stamp set that's in our holiday mini catalog. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is a little pocket. So I love that. And I don't know who made this one. I, I don't have their information in it. But here's a bunch more ideas using the Beautiful Autumn stamp set and the Autumn Gilded Autumn bundle suite of products. Okay. Now, yeah, and um, Gail's asking about the acorn. Yeah, that's going to cost you a little extra postage. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you otherwise because it is quite bulky. If you want to put like a piece of paper towel over it and you'll put that extra ounce stamp, I believe, on with your regular stamp, you're going to get these through the mail. But I would take fold up a piece of um, paper towel or if you have any of that little, those little tiny packing bubble sheets, you could lay that over top. But yeah, it's, it's going to cost you a little bit extra. This is going to be really fun on our little boxes and little bags for embellishments. I, I just think it's so cute. Oh, where did my where did my set of cards go? That I just Oh, there they are. Okay, I just want to keep everything together. Okay, so did I miss any questions tonight, you guys? Um because I am looking at comments now. Susan wants to see Haley's other card. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not showing that because I will be doing that for you in an upcoming video. So I'm, I'm going to make you, the anticipation is going to be crazy. Her other card is absolutely beautiful and I will be sharing that in an upcoming video. So don't worry, you'll get to see it, just not tonight. The anticipation. Okay, and I am looking at all the comments. Now, did you already get the tattoo? Yeah, we already got tattoos a long time ago. Haley's 26, so when she turned 18, Haley and I got tattoos. Yep. Okay, this. I told you guys about my friend Cindy, that her husband is graciously making the bow jigs, right? And so they sent me a prototype, and this is exactly what they look like. They're really nice. He's routered the edges of the wood. And then check this out. This is where your nails go in there for storage, and now you can store this in a little drawer or wherever you need to store it. You've got six holes here. 
These are an inch apart and then a half an inch and a half an inch. He even ground off the heads on the nails so that you don't have those getting in your way when you go to pull your bow off to use it. So I was just going to do a little demonstration here. And I will be I will be making a Wednesday tip video so that I can I can specifically go back to that when people ask how to use this and send them to my Wednesday tip video. But you wrap your ribbon around here and then what I like to do is call it a cancer bow. You know the bow that goes like that, at, you know, the cancer bow. So you do a cancer bow and then whatever the one is on your top, you're gonna wrap that under the bottom and back up over just like that. And then you tie it in a single knot right here. So I'm gonna show you that again. You're gonna do your cancer bow just like this, cross it over whichever one, like this one is the bottom one. It's going up and over and back through and now we're gonna tie it in a single knot. If you had it the other way, it could be this one and it's on top if you wrap it like if you bring it back over top like that it's not going to work right so you need to look at it it's crossed over and now you're going to take it under over and back up here and now you can adjust this in the middle so you can get your you can get your knot in the center of your bow just like this okay that's what it looks like and now you take this off of here and look how it slides off with no nail heads. That's awesome, Cindy. And there is our cute little bow. And you can do any size of bow. These are fantastic. Let me grab a little thicker ribbon here. And you just make your bows as big as you need them. I'm going to go kind of big with this one. And again, I'm crossing it over to make my cancer bow. This one's gonna go underneath, over top, and now you just tie it in a single knot. Oops, hang on, I just lost my tail. There we go. And the nice part about this is, oops, this is a perfect, absolutely perfect little bow every single time. So if you're bow challenged, as I've heard from so many of you that you are, this is your ticket, this little deal. Now, um, Cindy's husband is only charging $10 for these. That includes shipping, and we all know shipping is pretty expensive. So these are pretty inexpensive. $10 for these. If you would like to get one, you can pop me an email, kelly at a stamp above dot com not www but you're going to put kelly at symbol a stamp above dot com put bow jig j i g in the subject line and i will just forward your email on to cindy okay super easy ten dollars you can get yourself one i do not have any vested interest in this whatsoever I just want you to know that um cindy's husband john and and cindy are taking care of all of this and this is their little gig. So I just want to make that perfectly clear. I know that I've been forwarding a ton, a ton of emails off to Cindy. And she's been a little crazy with them lately. She's like, oh my lord, I have to go take a shower. And it's been really funny. So anyways, um, I don't think she realized how many requests for these she would get. But she's, she's learning. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. Are you guys ready to see some mail? It's already 8.30. I am going to start pulling out some mail. So, this first item is amazingly gorgeous. And this is from Kathy Showalter. And Kathy, wow. Look at how pretty this card is. This was for Val. Welcome to the world, little one. Look at how pretty it is. It's just so gorgeous. This was for Val and Jared and Haley. And then Kathy sent a whole set of cute little socks. I'm going to bring out the really cool part of this last. A whole pack of little bibs. Look at, look at, isn't that just the cutest little thing ever? And then look at this. It's a terry cloth bath set with a little crown on it. <laughs> I can't wait to see her in this. Haley, you better take pictures. 
And then last but not least are all these adorable little onesies. And look at, look at, is that not just the cutest thing ever? Yeah, it's so, so cute. So I am going to make sure that Haley and Jared get to take this home now because I wouldn't let them because I needed to show everybody, right? Kathy, you are so incredibly generous and sweet and Haley and Jared will just love these. And Haley, you're watching. I want you to take a picture of Val in some of this stuff and especially the little bath towel because I really need to see it. Okay, I'll give this to Haley and Jared now. Next, let's see. Oh my Lord, I lost who sent this. Did this come from Kathy Shaning? Uh, I, maybe, I think so. You guys let me know if I'm wrong. Who sent this for little Miss Val? This is super duper cute. Absolutely adorable. Don't you just love how super cute these little things are? Yeah, and at the rate she's going, um, she will fit into this this year, but she might even fit into it next year because she's a tiny little thing for sure. Then I wanted to show you this really cool box that I got from Kathy Shaning. She's a member on my team. And look at all these little boxes that collapse. Aren't they just really cool? This is just, it's like a whole bunch of little boxes that are really fun. They've got a little rubber band mechanism in them that makes them pop up. They're so, so cute. And look at how pretty that is. Yeah. Very, very cool, Kathy. Thank you so much. I love origami, and this is definitely origami. And look at how pretty this is. It uses that beautiful new um, glimmer, rainbow glimmer paper. Yeah, super pretty, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just looking at my comments here, so hang tight. I'm going to put this in the box with the other gifts for Haley to give, or me to give to Haley and Jared, because I will see them tomorrow. All right, here comes some more presents. I got to get these things out of here, because I got to give them away. So this comes to me. This is the Boca Dots. This is a really neat little background stamp. This is from Debbie Bach. And she had an extra one. Look at how pretty her card is. She had an extra one and she donated it for me to give away. So I will definitely be doing that. One of these is mounted just so you know. Whoever wins this, you're going to love it. I had a lot of, whoops, hang on. Things are falling. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that, with that background stamp. Then here comes some more goodies. Hang on. Oops, oh no, it's stuck to the priority box. Uh, I'm kind of destroying the envelope. I'm so not happy about that. Okay, this one, oops, came. Oh, this is that really cool one. I opened this up. This is from Kimberly McCollum. Okay, I gotta show you this. So here's my envelope. Check that out. Is that not super cool? And I just like kind of destroyed the envelope, but it's super, super cool. She like went all out with that envelope. And then look at this. What? Yeah, this is a double slider card. Is that not the coolest thing? I love all the colors. This makes me very happy. Like it's just so happy, the colors. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Thank you so much, Kimberly. And then that's not all. Look at this cute little box. Yes, I did open it. And, oh, look at these. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Look at how pretty those earrings are. Thank you so much. This is just beautiful. The soul is full of longing for the secret of the sea. Aren't these cool? These are ocean treasure jewelry, sea glass charms, pearls, and crystal stones made in the USA by artists. These are beautiful. I will definitely be wearing these. Thank you so much. Look at how cute that box is. Cute box matches the card. Holy cow. With the envelope. Oh, and there's more. <gasps> I'll show you the more. Look at how cute this is all the little nuggets and these are the ones that are have toffee in them i know my nuggets 
ladies and gentlemen, I know my nuggets. <laughs> how cute is that, you guys? Look how sweet that is. This was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Oh, I love, love, love. Okay, let me put that. I'm going to set this all right here. I'm going to put my earrings in my luggage so I can wear them because I really do love them. All right, here comes some more gifts, you guys. This is from, oh, this said Open Me Second. And this is from Cindy, so hang on. And here comes Open Me First, and I actually did notice that. So this was Open Me First. Look what I got. These are the Precious Parcel Card Kit. This was another item from Celebration last year that was super popular and sold out immediately. So. Cindy had some duplicates and she sent them to me and to give away. And it says to Queen Kelly, look how cute that is, to Queen Kelly, our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things. And thank you so much, Cindy. This is so nice. I will be giving these away. These are going to be awesome. Somebody is going to love these. And then I have some extras. Here's an extra set of the little punches. This is the new Gilded Autumn punches. One of the Old World Paper 3D Embossing Folders. The Senior Years Stamp Set. And also the Beautiful Autumn Stamp Set. Look at that. All to give away, you guys. How sweet is that? Thank you so much, Cindy. You are just the bomb. <laughs> and look at my dress. Here, let me cover her dress. The one who wears the crown, Kelly Atchison. <laughs> and then this one, this one says Her Highness. <laughs> Highness, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, next I have, this is from, hang on. Oh, this is that cute little onesie. Um, let me get it open first. Here we go. Here we go. This is from LaRoe Prentice. And this is, I showed this to Haley when she was here. Now I'll let her take it home. But look at how cute this is. There's the little magnets on the onesie. Is that not just the cutest little thing? Thank you so much, LaRoe. And then I've got this card. That was for baby Val. And this one is for me. Congratulations and enjoy every minute. They grow up so fast. So this, oh look at it, it says Valerie. Isn't that cute? So that was a granny card. Thank you so much. Next, hang on a second. I'm gonna move this stuff over. Oh, oh, Angie. Angie Fairburn, she told me this was on its way. This is from Angie Fairburn. She made these for Val and she told me about them and shared a picture on Messenger with me. Look at how stinking adorable. She is going to need these this week while we are camping. Look at how cute they are. Just the cutest little booties. And these are knit. Yeah. Super, super cute. I am going to make sure I'm going to put these over by the door. Hang on. Those are going with me in my luggage so that I can have Val wear them while we're gone. Okay, here comes another big package. This is going to cut down on my storage space over here a little bit. Okay, now, these are from... Oh, hang on a second. Nope. Who sent me these? I don't know. Somebody sent them to me, but their name is not in here. I got no name. I, I, I knew who it was when I opened them. Look at how huge these envelopes are. Look at these. Oh, I think Susan is the one who sent these to me. I think. Maybe. If I'm wrong, you guys, let me know. Oh, and Heather wants to know how to make the double slider card. I actually do have a video showing how to make that from a long time ago. And I will see if I can whip one up. They're really fun. And they're not as complicated as you would think they are. Look at how giant these are, you guys. <gasps> Debbie says, the booties are beautiful. Karen, cute booties. Kathy, adorable booties. I know. 
when Angie showed them to me, I was just like, oh my gosh, those are so precious. And you guys, they're that really soft yarn too. Look at, here's another one. Oh, these are from Lynn Sicleri. Sorry, Lynn. I just found your name on this post-it note. I knew it was somebody. Somebody that I really like. <laughs> no, I really like you all. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Very, very pretty. And it's almost like a double card, right? Yeah. Very, very cool. And Lynn said I could give these away. And so they're, um, they're in pristine condition, meaning that she didn't write in them, you know. So I think that's going to be a really cool idea. And I will probably do that. Very cool. Thank you so much. Oh, and this was from Angie Fairburn. Okay, we got that. Here comes a card from Con Kareen Mariki. Kareen is my newest Stamping Up demonstrator. She's my newest discount shopper from Hawaii. Look at it, how pretty this is. Did I show this one to you guys already? I can't remember. Look at how cool that is. Oh, little belly band here. And then this is that beautiful Forever Greenery um, designer series paper. But look at this. She just used a piece and wrote me a little note in it. And I thought that was very clever, right? Very pretty, Kareen. Thank you so much. Then I have Patty Wyanecki. Look at how cute that is. I love the fish in the bowl. Thanks for making me smile today. Look how cute that is. And then she sent me a little note too. Love, love, love. That is very cute. Um, I already read this one to you. Hang on, let me grab some more here. And Bernice said that slimline cards are really hot now. Yeah, I'd never seen them, so I was kind of excited to get them. This one is from Terry Davies. She won one of our prizes tonight. Look at this. Here's another one, you guys. This is a double slider card again. Isn't that cool? Thanks so much for the lovely rhinestones. We'll put them to good use. Enjoy your... Um, I enjoy all your posts, and thank you for sharing your creativity. You are so welcome, Terry. This is so cute. Love it. I'm going to set that one back there, too. What did I do with that other one? It's here somewhere. So don't worry. I got it. Somewhere. Okay, this one is from... Nanette McKeel. Look at how pretty that is. That sunflower set. I have an online class with the Celebrate Sunflowers. Okay, hang on. i got to figure this out. Oh, this is one of those that's moving up and down again. Remember we got one with an oval in it the other day. And it's just two layers. And then it's got the um, adhesive strips in there. Can you guys see that? Adhesive strips in there. So you put these two together and you hold them apart and that's what holds your card together. Isn't this cool? So you're gonna do this and then you just slide this right in here. Hang on, let me get it apart here. You gotta be smarter than the card. There we go. <laughs> Look at that, it's a slider. It's really neat. Thank you so much, Nanette. This is awesome. Then let's see what I got here. Oh, Beth Ann said she just got here for the end. Just watch the replay. Oh, look at this is the dandelion set, you guys. Isn't that cool? That's the one we just used. And this card is from. Miran. Look at how neat that is. For my birthday. Thank you so much, Miran. That is just beautiful. And she is from Victoria, British Columbia. I love, love, love this. All right, hang tight. I have another one here. Ooh, here's here's another one. This is also from the net. How cool is that? Yay! Thank you, Nanette. Let me grab that other one. The other one was a different color. So I'll show you both. How sweet is this? Here's the green one. Here's the blue one. Super, super cool. 
Yeah, thank you, Nanette. You are so sweet. And then we have a card here. This one is from, oh my gosh, this is too cute. This is from Faith Green. Look at, look at the little troll on the swing and the trees. Oh my gosh. Super cute. Best wishes, 2020 team member, Faith Green. She says, do what brings you joy. Discard the rest. Amen, sister. I'm totally with you on that. Look at how cute that is. That is just charming, isn't it? I love that little troll. All right, hang on. We got more. I see a turtle. Here comes a card from Lucinda Schaefer. Oh my gosh, hang on. I gotta, I gotta make this presentation right. So when you open up this beautiful happy birthday with all this watercolor technique, look at this. We've got hello. I'll put this up here. Hello, hello, some birds. A thank you, whoops, a thank you, and some more lovebirds. How cute is that? Like, that's really cool confetti. You sure know how to make someone happy. Thank you so much. Lucinda, you are the sweetest. What a pretty card. Then I have one here from Marsha Fetner. Ooh, this is, this is cool. I remember this one. I opened this one up. Look at this. Isn't that cool? This is a bridge card, you guys. And it stands up just like that. So it's very cool. It lays flat to mail. She actually put it in a um, square envelope. Isn't that cool? That is so pretty. This uses the um, June Paper Pumpkin Kit. It was called Something About Sunshine. I don't remember. Yeah, Judith likes the Wish Eclipse card. It's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, hang on. I got more. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through all these tonight, but... Oh, hang on just a second. Here we go. This is a beautiful thank you card, and this is from Lori Callies. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. Wowza. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Lori. She was thanking me for the kerchief card kit. Here comes another one. This one is from Luann Lee. How sweet. Look at that's that beautiful paper pumpkin kit. If you guys don't subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, oh my gosh, I love Paper Pumpkin. You're going to love the alternate ideas that I made for the blog hop this Thursday. But yeah, so... Um, I've got a really nice note in here from, from Luann. They just moved, so I was kind of surprised to hear they were moving. She is also one of my team members. <gasps> Look at this. I love a big greeting. This one is from Debbie Lundeen. She is also from British Columbia, Canada. Look at how pretty that is. Thank you so much, Debbie. That is absolutely beautiful. Then we have Karen Braxton. Ooh, I like ye, Karen. This is very, very cool. And this uses the designer series paper so you can see both sides of it. Remember when we did that Facebook Live? This is from Karen Braxton. Um, I actually met her and her three sisters. We call them the, the 4Ks on the Stampin' Up! Incentive Trips. They are just the sweetest people. Oh, this is a really cool one that just came in. This is from Joan Talent. Look at this. This is a clear um, acetate sheet. And then this pineapple is from the paper pumpkin kit. This paper pumpkin kit from June. And then look at She cut out another paper pumpkin and it says stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And she told me this reminded me of her. Or this reminded her of me. With the whoops designer series paper mounted in here. I just thought this was so very clever, right? Acetate sheet, you score it at the top, it tucks in between the designer paper and the cardstock on the back. And then you have your image here, all pretty, and then you die cut it to be just a white sheet with your sentiment in it. I thought that was really cool. So thank you so much, Joan. My mom and I were drooling over that today. We were like, ooh, look at this, ooh. Yeah. 
<gasps> Look how pretty this is. This is from Cheryl Hall. She is also from Canada, and I love this. This is that Parisian Beauty Designer Series paper from the last mini catalog. But this stamp set is still current, and I love those hydrangeas. So, so pretty. Cheryl, thank you so much for the card. It's beautiful, and your sweet message inside. I really love this. Then we have Jamie Lency. Look how pretty this is. You make the flowers smell sweeter and the sunshine brighter. You are so sweet. And look at how pretty that inside is too. Thank you so much and you are welcome for the faceted gems. This is so pretty. Okay, can we do a few more? I'm just gonna do a few more and then I gotta go. <laughs> but I'm having fun. This is from Patty Wyanecki. Look at how cute this is. I love this whale set. Super, super cute. You're kind of a big deal. <laughs> I love that she used the little punch to do the, um, you know, the spout that comes out out of the glimmer paper. And then the eye and the whale's, like, um, flipper, whatever. I know that's not what it's called, but it's made out of the glimmer paper also. Very, very cute. Thank you so much. Then we have this beauty. I This is so pretty. It's just very simple, but I really, really like it because it's happy colors. Thank you big time. This is from Marilyn Kurbis, and she is also thanking me for the faceted gems. You are very welcome, Marilyn. Thank you for the beautiful little thank you card. Then we have Carrie Mailer. Hang on. This is a really cool one. Look at how cute this is. Isn't that cute? I love that little cake. Cake is the answer. Who cares what the question is? LOL. Hope you had a great one. Warmly, Carrie. That is super sweet. Thank you so much, Carrie. I love your card. And then we have Kim Wankel. Look at this. How cool is this? Yeah. Birthday card. Isn't this cool? Wowzers. Very, very cool. Love this. Thank you so much. This is just a really neat card. Then, here's some more from that paper pumpkin kit. How pretty is this? This is from, whoops, hang on. This is from Evelyn Boswell. And Evelyn put her inside in upside down. And you know what? I love that she did that because I have a friend, Sue Molden, and anytime she does something like this on a card, she will send it to me. And anytime I do something like that, I try to remember to send it to her because we laugh and laugh and we get a big kick out of it because our cards aren't supposed to be perfect, right? They're handmade. So Evelyn says, um, covered left side, dead giveaway that I goofed, right? <laughs> and now I'm writing upside down. <laughs> Okay, Evelyn, it's just beautiful, and you gave me a good giggle because I've been there, and I do it. <laughs> very, very pretty. Thank you so much. Then we have Connie Billerman. Look how pretty this is. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love this. And this is a birthday card. Pretty on the inside as well. Love, love, love this. Then we have Barbara Pike. Look how pretty this is. This is a triple time stamping. Love it. Thank you so much, Barbara. This is so pretty. And then we have Susan Reed. Oh, the motorcycle. We got the Harley on the front, baby. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Hope you hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy. And that was the only ride this summer I got on the Harley was on my birthday to take me out to lunch. That's it, people. He has not had me on the bike at all. We, he and I, we're going to have a chat. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. This is from Michelle Wolf. Oh, and by the way, hang on. Susan Reed, thank you very, very much for this awesome card. Look at the little mirrors on there too. That is super cute. Okay. This one is from, hang on. This is from Michelle Wolf. Look at how pretty that is. 
I loved this. Everything is rosy, sweet, so pretty, right? Thank you so much. You guys are just the sweetest people. I love all these beautiful cards. Let's see. I have got way too many to finish up here, you guys. So I've still got birthday cards here. Not going to lie. Um, lots and lots and lots of birthday cards still. <laughs> so I will continue opening the birthday cards on my next Facebook Live. I'm going to flip you guys around. I need to see you. I don't like talking to the back of your head. That's not fun for me. There we go. Yeah, I took off some clothes. Remember? I had a hot flash. <laughs> you know how it is, right? <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if I missed some of your questions, if you had any questions and I missed them, send me an email because it's really hard for me to keep up on all this stuff. I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it all. You guys think I can, but I really can't. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. Please make sure you share my video. If you haven't already, click on that share button. That really helps me grow my business. Also, if you have any, if you need any stamping supplies, I always appreciate your orders. I have a monthly host code in the right-hand column on my blog. If you're on a, a device other than a computer, sometimes that right-hand column is hard to find because it's in a different place. But if you just scroll down to the bottom of the blog post, you'll see like some links and some catalogs. And you'll always see that host code at the bottom of every single blog post. So it's easy for you if you're on a different device. And Lisa says, um, you're, you're going to have your million before next Sunday. You know that I will. It's probably going to happen tomorrow or Tuesday for sure because we have that new mini catalog coming out, you guys. So I'm so excited. I just don't even know what to do, but I do know that I'm going to have a wonderful vac vacation with Haley and Jared and Molly and Steve. Whether we have our truck or Scott's truck, it's not the part that's important, right? I got to let that go. I got to, like, not let the anger take over because I'm very not happy about the truck situation. <laughs> they had enough time. <laughs> anyway, Steve's like, simmer down. <laughs> so mad. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the camping trip. And of course, you guys, I will share pictures with you as I can. I think we have some pretty decent internet connection there, but I'm mostly gonna be spending time with my family and just relaxing and enjoying the beauty of the area. So, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for rooting me on in my journey to my million. It's gonna happen in the next couple days. Super excited. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will have a tip video on Wednesday with those recipes for the holiday mini catalog, which is a really cool um, PDF file. I have the Paper Pumpkin Summer Nights blog hop on Thursday. I don't think I have anything else lined up this week, but I will be live next Sunday, barring any type of problems, like we decide never to come home. <laughs> I'll have my laptop with me. Don't worry. We can do a Facebook Live from wherever we are. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye.